this is meteorologist Mark Mulner as your host for the Weather Show Weather Northeastern. Let's get right into viewer sending photos and videos first. Taking a look at Casey Wilcott here from Vestal Center, New York, was actually in Myrtle Beach. Take a look at the nice time lapse here along the Myrtle Beach, South Carolina shoreline here. Taking a look at some really nice cloud decks off in the distance. It almost looks like some cumulonimbus trying to form out here out on the strato deck out here across the portions of the ocean so very nice capture here you can even see some little bit of wave action moving in so nice capture very nice time lapse here casey wilcott from vestal center new york in myrtle beach south carolina taking a look at joe drehos from the johnson city new york area look at the Cumulonimbus type clouds these were more of they almost resembled kind of a mammatus pattern here across the, uh, the portions of the Saturday area across Johnson City, New York. You can see there was some inclement weather occurring and racing out ahead of these storms, there was two, two lines of storms that pushed through and just as the sun was setting, this was the result. So very nice capture of George Rehos. And he also captured some of the eclipse here yesterday. And taking a look at the nice eclipse here in southern tier of New York into northeast Pennsylvania, we saw about 70% of the sun covered. Whereas if you moved further south towards South Carolina and portions of the Southeast, you were seeing almost 100% at that point. So very nice capture here, Joe Drejos from Johnson City, New York, getting right into the tropics. There's not much to speak of. Yes, we do have some areas of concern here in the moving into the Bay of Campeche. We could have Harvey refiring here, but Harvey's been really undergoing a tremendous amount of wind shear going over the southern portion of the Yucatan Peninsula. And for that matter, this system may achieve minimal tropical storm status right before it makes landfall between Brownsville and Galveston, Texas. So somewhere here in the mid central coastline of Texas. But this thing will be a big rainmaker to say the least. Whether it becomes a tropical storm again or not, heavy rains will be the prospect across the area. So very heavy rains across southeast Texas. And we're getting right into uh, portions of the area off of the Florida coast in Vest 92. I do not expect this system to fire at any point and pretty much have written this system off as well. There's just been too much of a hostile environment across the Caribbean here into the Atlantic and the Gulf of Mexico. Just too much wind shear. It's almost resembling that of an El Nino almost, but nevertheless, it's not really being caused by an El Nino. So at this point, it's just a lot of activity. The jet stream, a lot of frontal systems going pretty far south for this time of year, which are generating a lot of the shear. So let's get right into the all important forecast. I talked to you about Texas here, and this is where the eight to 12 inches of rain from portions of just northeast of Brownsville here and to uh, Houston, Galveston area, and up into portions of the middle and central and eastern part of the state. So there could be some major flooding going on here over the next several days uh, in the Texas area. And then of course, the eastern portion of the United States here, the west is pretty much void of it, but the east, look at that, it's really socked in. And we're gonna have a really nice weekend and week for the weekend for the Northeast. So let's get right into that pattern. Yes, we still have a little ripple in the jet stream, but more of a cutoff tropical lows here in the Southeast. We're getting rid of most of that rain in the Northeast, which is good news into portions of the Southeast. That's where the big activity will be. Let's get right into the forecast for your, starting off with your Wednesday, the midpoint of the week, taking a look at the Northeast here. Finally beginning to clear things out. You see the cold front moving off the coast. Susquehanna River Valley, Hudson River Valley, Allegheny River Valley, all these areas into the lower Great Lakes, into the Adirondacks. We're finally scouring out those clouds, getting in some, some lower humidity here and temperatures breaking out into the mid 70s, most locations into your Thursday. Look at this brilliant sunshine, pretty much wall to wall from London, Ontario, Buffalo, New York, all the way up towards Portland, down East Maine here. Looking very nice across the region. And temperatures cooling. You're not gonna start to notice here reinforcing shot of cold air here behind the cold front. Temperatures really dropping down into the upper 60s above those elevations above 1,000 feet and lower 70s into the valley. So very nice, low humidity, 20 to 30%, 40% values here. So very nice into your Friday. Look at that TGIF. If you have the day off for a long weekend, this is looking beautiful across the Northeast. Temperatures getting up into the upper 60s to lower 70s. Once again, air quality will be wonderful. So if you wanna get out there and enjoy it, really do. And then Saturday, look at this pretty much Upper 60s, low 70s, we keep that late summer, early fall type pattern really setting up here across the Northeast. 
rain free once again, high pressure really remaining in control. And this may be the sign of a new developing pattern. Let's take a look at the five day outlook for my hometown viewers in the Binghamton to Scranton area. All points in between, Owego, Sarah, and all those points along the upper Susquehanna River Basin. Take a look at that into your Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Look at this, I pretty much don't have a cloud in the sky. This is, behold this, because this does not happen very often here in the Binghamton and Scranton areas in the Northeast Pennsylvania and the Southern tier of New York, Susquehanna region. This is a highly rare. So if you have the opportunity to enjoy this, look at this overnight lows dropping down into the mid forties in the colder valleys, highs up near, towards the 68 to 72, pretty much every day. Look at this, get out there and enjoy that all the way through the weekend as well. That's gonna do it for this edition of Weather Northeastern. Don't forget to like us on Facebook at Media Mark. Subscribe to me on YouTube at Media Mark Comms, Twitter at WX Northeastern, Google Plus at Media Mark. Don't forget website, MediaMark.com and WeatherNortheastern.com.